Hello, it's Jimmy here at Willys, and I've just got here a Saab 93. So it's a diesel engine, and customer saying it doesn't have any faults on it, but he is struggling to get it through emissions tests, and he wants me to do uh, a DPF clean and maybe an intake clean, and just have a little once over the car and see what I can do to maybe get the emissions improved on it. Okay, so inside the car, we can see there we can start the engine up and it doesn't have any sort of warnings it's done 113,000 i think is that so what i'm going to do is switch it off we'll turn the ignition back on now again we're going to use the launch uk euro tab 3 scan tool we'll set up an intelligent diagnostic i'm just going to check if we have any faults even though there's nothing there some of these older cars are um not as prone to chucking up an engine management light as um, as the newer ones. So this is a 2011 9.3 I think Sport engine engine control uh, diagnostic trouble codes PO380 Glow plug malfunction, circuit malfunction. Let's see what else have we got here for the, if we have anything for the glow plugs. Glow feedback. What have we got there? It's probably not going to do nothing at the moment because the engine is already warm. Okay, let's just have a look under the bonnet. Okay, so it's, this is the engine, and if we take off this cover, it's going to be um, this sort of uh, Fiat engine that you see in uh, GM motors like a uh, Vauxhall Vectris. And you can see there it's got a GM stamp on it. Okay, so we've got a couple of tools here already. What is this? Is a pliers and a glow plug socket. Just got a swivel on it and a magnetic grabber in there. What I'm going to do is get these plugs off, so we need to be kind of gentle with these. Get a bit of leverage on them, pull them up, all four of them. And we'll just do a couple of tests. So we'll give them all a spray up with this from Launch UK, just to get them ready if they do need to come out. And I think I'll use this tester here. We'll just try and do a continuity test on them first. If it doesn't work, then we can do other tests, uh, just to try and confirm if there's an issue with the glow plugs. Okay, so we've got that ready. We'll get the uh, access to the battery here. Remove that. These should usually just pop up. Right, maybe have a little look around here. We can see we've got leakage from from the breeder there but we've also got another issue here which is a loose boost holes and um, surprisingly that's not been given a fault code someone somewhere has left that loose so we'll get that tightened up okay we'll get the black lead connected over here onto the positive terminal we're just going to go across all of these glow plugs just giving a bit of a beep Sorry, number two, not doing anything. Number three, it's working. Number four, it's giving us a beep as well. Let's have a look at what's going on with this one. Gives an initial beep, but then nothing else. Number two is completely dead. Okay, so I'm just in the middle of getting these out. It's fine. Two of them out there now. Okay, so we've got all of the four uh, glow plugs out in the same order, order that they came out of the engine. So this is one, two, three, and four. Uh, I'm going to use the Milwaukee one just to do continuity tests. 
on these so if we test number one we have a beep number two it's completely dead number three and number four so it looks like number two is the one that's the main issue but we're going to get all four of them changed so we'll try and order some of these glow plugs now uh, well, I've, all, I've just ordered some and I'm going to be waiting on a delivery here from Bennett's and then we can get these fitted. Uh, I'll have to call the customer and just confirm he wants to go ahead and have them done as well. Okay, and there we have them. Okay, so just buttered these up with a little bit of anti-seize grease and we'll get these new ones fitted in. Cylinder 1 and 2 there. And 4 and 3. Now we've got all of the four glow plugs in, we just refit the plastic plugs, make sure they're pushed down until they hear them click. Now most glow plugs are sort of around the 8 newton meters area of torque settings. If you don't have a torque wrench, it's a very, very small amount of pressure. So it's basically you just turn it until it stops and it's just a very, very tiny amount of, of tightening pressure on them. Okay, so I did take my jacket off, but this weather seems to have a bit of pipe bipolar because it's raining again. The sun was just shining five minutes ago. Um, it got quite hot. I took my jacket off. Now it's raining, so I put my jacket back on. Now we can get this clamp here tightened up correctly. Okay, now the glow plugs have been done. What I'll do is we'll probably just uh, continue the video with the uh, DPF cleaning. So this is the DPF pressure sensor down here. Don't know if I put a light on, make it any brighter. So we're going to remove that hose and we'll get some cleaner injected down there. So I've removed the holes from there and then we'll connect up the DPF cleaner gun from Launch UK. Get that squeezed, put that fluid down in there. So we had a pipe blow off there, we'll just make sure it's connected a bit tighter. Get that squirted in again. There's a lot of pressure here you see, 130 psi going in okay now we can see that pipe is full of the foam so what I'm gonna do is run the engine for a minute just to blow any of that excess foam out so it doesn't go back inside the pressure sensor we'll just have a little look at the DPF data there let the engine idle down See, we're at sort of 3.7 HPAs or millibars there. So we'll just give that another few minutes there until the smoke starts dying away. Now what that is, it's, it's vapour from a hot exhaust with wet fluid inside. That's not actually, some people think it's, you know, a combustion smoke from the engine. It's not. It's vapour basically from steam but, uh, what a, you, you're gonna have a hot exhaust and wet fluid inside so that's gonna happen then we confirm that the fault codes have cleared so that's just a very quick video there just doing those two little uh, small repairs on it and we will see you on the next video we've got another couple of things I might just do like an intake clean and an injector clean as well on this but we'll save some of that for some other videos and see you next time.